the day has come, ladies and gentlemen, for us to say goodbye. Bid adieu to my 2022 Cadillac ESV. It has served me and my family well for almost three years, but every car has its time and place. And now we are going into trading up, whatever you may say, depending on your like or dislike, for a 2024 Grand Wagoneer Series 3 Obsidian L, which is the extended wheelbase version. Obsidian basically just means everything's blacked out. Series 3, I'm still not sure what that means, but supposedly it has all the bells and whistles and trinkets and gadgets and whatnot, but I personally think this car looks pretty good, actually. The first time I saw it, I was like, it's kind of ugly, but I'm going to go into the reasons why I got this car and got out of the Cadillac. But, um, yeah, we are picking up the Grand Wagoneer today and taking it home. So we just made it home, guys, in the 2024 Grand Wagoneer L, which is the extended wheelbase, more trunk space, of course, um, Series 3 Obsidian. Actually, I have a lot of crap here in the back, but just kind of give you guys a sense of how much extra the extended version can hold. Interior. So, you guys may be wondering, you know, why did I trade in my 2022 um, Cadillac ESV Escalade? and I get another um, Escalade. So just a brief history, guys, on my SUV ownership history. So in 2019, um, obviously as the family was getting bigger, I got a 2019 Lincoln Navigator, and that was the year they had done the, the refresh, the facelift on the Navigator. Um, I think it got, uh, from what I recall, got a lot of rave reviews. A lot of people were being, beginning to buy them again. This again was after nav the Navigator kind of got surpassed and buried by the Escalade. So I got the Navigator and I liked it. Um, towards the end of my ownership experience, there were some tr transmission issues, some mechanical issues. But over overall, I liked it. Um, and then I changed to the, um, the, the Cadillac Escalade in 2022, which I kind of always wanted an Escalade or at least always wanted to try one. But uh, I went with the Lincoln just because of the refresh. It got really good reviews and uh, kind of wanted to take the trap. The, take the path less traveled, if you will, because basically everyone and their uncle had an Escalade, and still does, quite honestly. Um, so then we got the Escalade in 2022, and again, really liked it, um, really no issues with it. The only, there's three three reasons, guys, that we changed to, or I decided to go with the, um, the Grand Wagoneer. And number one, I actually prefer the way these, these drive, if that makes sense. They kind of have that air ride suspension feature on it, which makes the, the ride very soft very comfortable um and this is actually not the first grand wagoneer l i've driven when we were in san francisco earlier this year we had one as a rental and that's where i really fell in love with it and really decided to kind of go for this over another escalade and i actually ordered and uh, built and ordered another escalade um which was you know spec'd out exactly the way i wanted it um had the second row um bench seat which i needed um which i'll go into another reason why I went with the uh, the Grand Wagoneer L. This also has the bench seat option for the eighth person. But, um, you know, Escalades just very, 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 very rarely come in this uh, setup. They usually come with the bench, the captain chairs. Um, so, but back to what I was saying, the number one reason why I went with the Grand Wagoneer L is just the way it drives, the suspension. I just like the way uh, it feels and, and kind of the way it handles in a weird way. And the, um, the second reason that... I decided to go with the, this is really stupid guys, you guys are gonna like, um, is the fact that you can move the second row seat up and access the back just by pressing that button and you can walk in. With the Cadillac, you have to, the Escalade, you basically have to pull up twice and then the seat collapses on itself and moves over. But this is actually easier, like if you have something strapped here, like a seat or something, maybe not a seat, but it's just easier, like pressing one button, and then basically you're in, right? Instead of having to pull up twice, which most uh, other models do, you just press this button, slides forward, and you go right in. This is especially easy, like if you're needing to get it in and out very quickly. Um, again, I have a large family, so we use all of these seats. And it's very easy for someone, uh, even my boys who are obviously not very strong, if they can't lift up on that, or my mom or someone, you know, press this button 
and you're already automatically back there. The third reason why, guys, I went with the Grand Wagoner L is I believe this space for the third row seat is best in class in terms of leg room, in terms of head space. It is very, it is very roomy there. It has the sunroof, obviously has the big uh, mirror uh, right there. So there's a lot of light that flows in. It's very airy, has USB ports. These, actually, these seats actually recline. Again, I do believe these are best in class in terms of room and space. So this is, that's my wife. This is uh, the third reason um, why we went with the uh, Grand Wagoneer L. And um, yeah, just it's, it's very spacious. I'm not sure if the second row is best in class, but again, I do, rec I do believe that the third row is best in class in terms of space, headroom, and whatnot. Um, so I know it's, it's kind of stupid, guys, but that's the third reason I went with the, um, the Grand Wagoneer. And, you know, strangely enough, I actually... The looks of this have grown on me. So yeah, going back to the looks of the car, uh, a lot of people poo-poo on the car because of its looks. Um, they say it's kind of awkward or the proportions are off or it's just this, particularly this rear three-quarter view or side profile. Sorry guys, my audio zonked out on me, but as I was saying, um, yeah, uh, it's a, this, uh, this car has actually kind of grown on me. The first few times I saw it, I saw one about a year ago. I didn't really like it. Um, and even the rental car that I had in San Francisco it was it was kind of like a pearl white or, or like a bright white and uh, I mean looks wise I didn't like it. I loved the way it drove, loved the spaciousness, loved the features but for, in, for some reason in this color in particular it just looks uh, a lot better for some reason. It doesn't look as big from the outside too. I don't know if that shows up on camera but one of the first things I commented to my wife when uh, the car drove up or they brought the car up is it just looks a lot seems a lot smaller from the outside than the inside and of course it is ginormous because it is the extended it's the l the extended wheelbase version but um yeah the looks have grown on me i like the front um from the side and the rear i mean I'm quite honestly i think the lincoln navigator doesn't look that good i think the escalade probably out of all three overall looks the best but i think maybe just because everyone's used to the way it looks um but appearance wise i think it's a very it's a, it's a handsome car it's a nice looking car and of course in the interior there's it's a very nice place to be very high quality leathers stitching um not a lot of cheap plastics or you know just looks very 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 nice inside and high quality materials you're definitely getting that luxury feel everything you, you, you touch is very soft and again very high quality feel to it similar stuff already set up here in the back guys but same thing in the back you know in the back uh those seats again do recline you have you know usb charging ports and and whatnot the rear entertainment system is pretty cool i'll do another video on that later but very easy to use and abrielle's enjoying herself but yeah just a very very nice interior guys you definitely feel you kind of get that luxury feeling with the car and um yeah, it's uh, we picked this up and uh, we were definitely going to have a lot of adventures in the car, probably a lot of future road trips, um, just like we do with the Escalade. Uh, again, enjoyed my ownership experience in my Escalade, but I think it was just time to move on. I think every two or three years I kind of get bored, especially with the family car and want to swap out. So I'm not really sure what's next after this, but probably going to enjoy this for the next two to three years at least. And then uh, kind of see what's out on the market, see what's gotten a refresh, what's kind of gotten a facelift, and kind of go from there. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll shoot more materials, five things I like, dislike about the car. Definitely some more uh, thoughts on pros and cons of owning a vehicle like this. But let me know what you guys think. I know there's a lot of haterade out on this car, but let me know if you guys own one, if you like it, if you dislike it, if you have an Escalade. Um, Maybe you own another SUV if you prefer that. Love your thoughts and comments, guys. Hope you like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Like and subscribe. Please support the channel. Hope to catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.